This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, dissect them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my co-anchor, Benny Ag. And we have a guest co-anchor who is a social and brand influencer. It was African delegate for the Vanatu Passport Citizenship Program. She has been nominated and has won many awards for her job as a media personality, including Nigerian Broadcasters Merit Awards and Scream Awards. Nanny B. Thank you for being. Honestly, that's Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for the word guest co anchor. Guest co anchor. She talks a lot, guess. so don't worry. She just Better guest or co anchor, everything. Co anchor. Well, co anchor keeps coming up a lot, so co anchor. <laughs> Whatever works for the team, okay. I'm on board. How you doing? Fantastic. How's Lagos Street? Because the traffic has doubled. <laughs> well, I can't complain. I mean, you get used to it. Mm -hmm. I, no, no, no. What is happening now? now can't be gotten used to. I think it's double because of the festive period. Yeah. So I can't get used to this. It's it is crazy. I mean, I, I just I love to adapt to my environment. I, I can't complain because I can't change anything about mm -hmm. it. It's not like I'm, I have like a private jet that's going to fly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just mentally adjusting to it, preparing for okay. the worst. All right, let's dive right into this. Bonner Boy David Do dominates um, top 10 most played songs of 2019 in Sub Saharan Africa. On November 3rd, 2019, Apple Music Africa sent results of the most streamed songs in Africa to its partners. The list is broken into two the most played songs in Sub Saharan Africa and in South Africa. However, let's just focus on the Sub Saharan Africa. Bonner Boy dominates with five songs. David Do has two, song, um, two songs. Joe Boy was on the list. Congratulations. Brown Skin Girl was also. So on the list. I don't need to tell you who's on Brown Skin Girls. And then Kiss Daniel won ticket. So that's like all my favorite songs in one list. One entire package. Mm -hmm. um, let's start with Benny. Um, you talk? I just I just thought about it right now. Brown Skin, Brown Skin Girl, that's um, Whis, Whiskey and Beyonce. Beyonce. Just, yeah. It's amazing that Whiskey just only has one song on that list. And I don't even know if it's Cutsy or Whiskey, that maybe because Beyonce was an analyst, but hey, we'll give it to Whiskey because it's sub Saharan, sub -Saharan mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Bon has had a fantastic year. And Brilliant. I, I, you know, a very fantastic year. And I think it's Bonner's year. It's the year of Bonner Boy. Mm -hmm. and it's the year of the boys. That's it. I mean, it's the year of Bonner Boy, and indeed, the, the giant of Africa. And I, I listened to his old album for the first time over the weekend. I'm like, whoa. Why, why was that the first time? I mean, because that was just the first time really? I had the opportunity to do that. I like every song, every track. What was a hit? Like, mm -hmm. what was he on? I can't you wait know? for that Grammy because I you know he's bringing it back. He has yes. to bring it back. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by the list that Bonnie had so many, so many nominations on that list. So, hey. Personally, I, I'm more impressed about his growth because I don't know. I mean, you've been in the game for a long time. Yeah. Do you remember back then when, you know, promoters never wanted to promote or push Bunny Boy? It was all about how he wasn't as kissed. Yeah. And can I say that on TV? He was, yes, I oh, can. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, and he was very confident, and sometimes it's a very thin line between confidence and cocky. So mm -hmm. most people saw him as, you know, that cocky artist that was too. Mm -hmm. We you had know. this conversation a yeah. so, few days ago, and he was telling me, no, Bonner Boy is so humble. Because, yeah, anyway, let's yeah, yeah, ma ma many, many people. Mm. But see, when you have a very dominant personality, people tend to misinterpret your intentions and how strong, you know, your persona is. So mm. you could, you could, you could, and you could be in a circle of people, and then you, you should need to be aware that we have different personalities. We have the choleric, the same grands. Right? So all these people, perceive, you know, characters differently. They interpret mm -hmm. it differently. So people are entitled to their own opinions, their personal opinions. But what I didn't like was if you find someone who is talented and he's good, I don't think you should bring in your personal issues with That's him. It. I mm -hmm. think you should just, if he's good, he's good. That's the business. Yeah, so I like the fact that he was consistent and you could see that at some point they were refusing to nominate him mm -hmm. in categories that he was even way above, you know, and even when they eventually decided to nominate him, he was in the most <clears throat> ridiculous part. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I just feel like this just goes to say like you should never ever, you know, abandon or look down anyone or underestimate people mm -hmm. because you see that tiny stone that you think can't do anything took that giant down, remember? Constant, right? Yeah. So you need to we just need to always have that. I think that's a lesson we should learn okay. and that's why is to there that. anyone you would have loved to see on this list? Oh yes. For me, yes. Mm -hmm. To who? Um, 
Fireboy. Fireboy. Fireboy didn't wow. become that one. Yeah. <laughs> Fireboy, fun, <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm surprised because Fireboy's first single, um, Jealous, mm -hmm. was, a, was a massive hit. Mm -hmm. And then it, it followed up with a second, a follow-up single, um, If... What's that? What's that? If, if I say. If I said. I mean, that was I another say. hit. And he's, it's, it's had singles that were back hits to back. back to back. So I'm wondering why Fireboy never made it on that list. And that's one person I, I, really, I really would love to see on that list that they make it. Well, I think this is about streaming and not just in Nigeria, Sub Saharan Africa. Yeah. If you look at the whole you... songs on that list, I don't think there's anyone you would think, nah, shouldn't be here because yeah, they but... got the attention, not just from Nigeria. So, from Sub Saharan, Fireboy... but I get it, but he is he is in demand. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. We're mm -hmm. not we're not we're not Even putting outside down. Nigeria. I'm not saying those that made it to the list no, should not have I'm been on the list. Yeah. I mean they were well deserving, mm -hmm. well done. Rema, well done. Zlatan, well done. I'm just saying I would have needed like a top eleven. I would have needed like a top eleven because or maybe a top twelve because you see, Fire Boy isn't just a boy, you know. He's the whole package. Um, his vocal dexterity, magnificent. Yeah. Lyrically, mm -hmm. I did my investigation, found out that majority of his songs were written by him. Okay. So he has the ability to write, which mm -hmm. is very important. Okay. Then he has what they call the tune. There are very few artists in the world that have it. Rihanna has it. People that, without soundtracks or whatever, whenever they hum their song to they you, sound good. they sound good. Mm -hmm. He has the tune. So we're looking for an artist that can come out and represent Nigeria, not just Nigeria, Africa, to the world. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a boy who can compete with the likes of Ed Sheeran. Oh, wow. Do you understand okay, so what I'm, I'm saying? So I'm not arguing all this. <laughs> yeah. What I'm saying is... Fireboy, he might, I don't know if he's been in the game for so long, but he's been in the limelight for a while, you know, a mm -hmm. while right? Mm -hmm. So I think he will get there. Maybe when we see the list for next year, I disagree. No, no, I disagree list. because right Joe Boy and Fireboy think... kicked off exactly the same time. Almost Do you remember? The same time, yes. But how about we looking at it um, being a factor I'm of their distribution so company? Well, like, how are they distributing these guys? That's, 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 that's another, another, that's another factor. thing you have mm -hmm. to um, you have to actually come in yeah. and look. But I mean. Oh, you just go. love Fireboy. Uh, no, no, I mean, everyone uh, to go through, uh, like, you know, uh, social media so. stats. Because at the end of the deal, mm -hmm. at the end of the deal, if someone is popping, SM is one of the major places where you can tell. Mm -hmm. We see them going from countries to countries, you know, to represent their brands and, you know, their record labels that they represent well. And I just feel like he should, he should have been like you've that. seen one of Fireboy, more of him on um, tours. It's not even on, not, no, 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 not even about just seeing more of him on tours. I feel like, because, you know, thanks to the company I work with, Bit more exposed to certain things, mm -hmm. you know. International stats are always available to us. Mm -hmm. So when you check the stats, we have our branches in different parts of Africa. So when we check the stats, when we see our rotation yeah. numbers, they always come back, and he's always on it. So when you say he's not in the sub-Saharan, I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so, someone, someone surprised me who made it on that list too. But when I think about um, the PR behind him and the, the record label is with, it doesn't come any longer as a surprise. Is but that? I wouldn't have expected him to be on that list, and that's Rema. I mean, I'm, I'm just uh, saying. I no, no, I, well, it's okay. Uh, it's it's all it's all right because I didn't. Like, <laughs> actually, when you're bringing um, the record label right now, mm -mm. I just said I just said that. Like now, considering the record label is under, mm -hmm. then yes, I understand why. Which is why I'm saying that is that's here, one of here, the things that comes. Here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Everybody has their personal opinion about Rema. I, mm -hmm. I know people that feel a bit. Mm. When it comes to you know out his of age, age like, yeah, yeah, out of out, you know he's quite young, and you know we're Africans and let's be real, we're quite judgmental. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, we need to change. So we tend to look at him and like, why is he doing all of this? I saw him rocking some other girl on stage the other day. I was looking oh, at him and oh, oh, oh. the millennials like that's I'm what they want to see. You, <laughs> so that's what they want to see. Yeah. So even if you know I'm coming from a, coming from a, a standpoint of, hmm, you know I'm looking at it and they're excited. So I'm like, okay, whatever rocks your boat. Yeah. So we have he's, people he's who have different perceptions. For him. But the truth about it is, when you travel out, you, you, when you go to the Western worlds, the radio stations are playing Rema. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you understand right. so what I'm saying? They're playing Rema. Because if we continue, I mean, we're going to sleep here. All right. Cardi B defends Offset after he accuses, uh, well, he was accused of hitting on Tekashi 69's girlfriend. She says her husband isn't responsible for the message sent to Tekashi 69's girlfriend. The award winning rapper took to her Instagram page on Tuesday where she. Um, she had screenshots and videos indicating that her husband's Instagram page has been hacked. This came barely a few hours after the girlfriend 
um, Jade took to her Instagram page to share the supposed message she got from Offset. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Right? you. <laughs> Um, Cardi knew what she was getting herself into when she got involved one of the members of um, Migos the by the name of Offset. Mm -hmm. And she actually clearly came out also said, you know what, um, yeah, I know Offset has had some bad bad dealings, bad stuff in the past. So what are you trying to but say? But I'm, I'm sticking, I'm sticking my neck out for him this time around. Mm. Please, please. I mean, it's easy. A everybody's handle, Instagram can be hacked. What are you now, trying to say? I'm just saying that it is, I mean... Takashi, have you seen Takashi? I mean, and so it's it's not out of place. It's not totally out of place. If Offset actually did send that text to Takashi, what's she saying? He did not. Because they came out and say his IG was hacked, mm -hmm. and so that's the reason I was saying he didn't send that message to mm -hmm. Takashi. So why can't you just believe it? I'm I'm just saying that anybody's IG can be hacked. Yeah, anybody's to cover IG up can a be story. hacked. And so that's that's just what I'm saying. But so anybody's IG can be sincerely and hacked. And the truth is, I, I don't think Offset is not it's not um is not capable of, of sending that text message. That's just small opinion. I don't think he's he's not capable of saying that. Well, message. I was, I'm not saying Offset does not cheat or he cheats. I'm saying if no, he I'm wants not, I'm to not cheat, saying, I'm not saying I think he's going to be smarter about it, I'm not, considering I'm not what he went cheating, through but to I'm get Cardi B back. Of a so if he like wants that. to, I mean, there are ways to go about it. No, not chatting. I, for a person, Why when I want to chat? have some certain kind of chat, I don't have anybody that come and hold my neck up. I'm worried. I don't but why would he chat? So it's, I'm wondering, go, do I really want to have this DM. conversation with you? Do I trust you a lot? You know, so I think a lot of celebrities are at that point where they don't just chat people, especially when they know they have something to lose. Mm. So they don't just chat with anybody to hit on them this way. So I think if this might also be another publicity stunt for us just maybe. about them, right? But I don't think he would do this. I don't know. Uh, uh, I this? I think he can do this. Okay, you've been quiet. All you said was so <laughs> Well, I like to see things from a different perspective. So I would say, first things first, I need to give props to Cardi because um, let's be real. If you and I are not there, to be fair, we really can't be judging and assessing things that we don't even know. Mm -hmm. but we're not even there. Do you get? So it might be, it might not be, uh, doesn't put money in our account. Yeah, but I like to take positivity out of certain situations. This is a young lady who has everything to lose. I mean, she came from the Bronx. She came from nothing and became something. She's not, just, she's not just something. She's a revolution. Like, mm. there's a body gang. She is, she, well, we do have our reservations about certain things. Okay. But I do like the audacity she has to be a woman, unapologetically. So I love the fact that looks like Offset is in trouble. You see her trying to save him. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of girls that would have probably flipped and, you know, um, you know, gotten upset or what's the meaning of this, blah, blah, blah. You could see she hadn't slept. Like, she was up trying to find out how what's to, yeah, what's going on? How do we stop this? How do we protect this? So, I love the fact that they keep it amongst the three. That's culture, Offset, Cardi. You can't penetrate that circle before you're going to come and break that body gong. Mm -hmm. You see that toe court they have? Nah, that's how deep a family should be. So I respect her for coming out to do that. But to offset, I do feel um, he needs to... I always believe that every atom of rumor, there's a tiny atom of truth. Um, before any girl can just get up and just say, you texted me, I don't... I just feel like... Some guy I don't know can't just get up and just come and start saying, maybe not now, maybe before they've had some kind of, you know, relationship, cordial yeah. or platonic relationship. <coughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, but whatever the case may be, you need to handle your ish. Mm -hmm. So, I feel he should maybe put out a message just letting people know that, look, offset now. Yeah, okay, put out a message saying, you know what, look. Whatever wants to be said, wants to be said. The honest truth is the most important thing that matters to me is what Cardi thinks. And as long as the woman I'm, I'm going to marry, the woman I married, the mother of my child, is behind me, there's nothing any of you say. That okay. that yeah. Offset, do, Offset has a scriptwriter already. You should ah. write that script for him. But she paid me go. just $3 million, that's all. We need to go for a quick break, but when we come back, we have one more story to discuss. We'll be right back.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Alibaba. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story 10 male actors of the decade um, has been announced and this list was compiled by post nigeria the list are rank or these actors are ranked according to their decade-long success which includes awards nominations critically acclaimed role and highest grossing capacities along with their acting skills and versatility <clears throat> anyway we have Odunade adikola ali nuhu bolan lili nowo tope tedela jide kosoko Gabriel Afolayan, Sheon Ajayi, Richard Mufedami Joe, Blossom, Chuku, Chukwe Meka Jeku, and of course, number one went to Ramsey Noah. So I'm so glad that Oduna is on that list, basically, because that's that's the guy that makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah, for a long time, yeah. I'm, I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I've been upset. You know, the fact that, you know, he does, he's, you know, drawn to, um, uh, Yoruba movies does not stop him from being nominated at you know our so-called reputable awards and so I don't want to call the names because I don't know if they're giving us money for it but <laughs> it's all good um for a long time mm -hmm. I've been waiting to see him get on the stage you know take awards because he's exceptionally good mm -hmm. I'm not I don't even hear Yoruba but I totally love to go there I don't mm -hmm. want to call it a channel but you guys know what I'm talking about I love to go there and watch it mm -hmm. because he just knows how to interpret his script and it feels like he swallows the script and the script becomes him mm -hmm. so I'm really excited for all that day um who else um Nino you know, no, no, I'm well had, deserving. Well deserving. Um, I must, I must put this on tape, on the, on the desk. Is, is that also an actor in a Yoruba movie? Wow, you know the Bolani. Okay, you know guys. <laughs> try yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know guys who eat with their No, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, you know, no. and then they tell us ladies no, are no, jealous no. of each other. No, mm. no. Now you don't know Bolani, right? I've said mm. who's Bolani. I've oh, said, wow. I've said it. We need this picture on the, on the screen. Hold That's Bolani. Yeah. Please. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you need another one? Okay, hold on. I think, <laughs> no, this is uh, LC. I've said it several. This years is another not, one. I, I've seen him, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Him. I've said it several in the show that I'm not. I'm not into Nigerian movies. I've said mm. several here. Mm -hmm. well, and I, that's I, totally I understandable. Yeah, I can mm. recognize a few names here: yeah. Ramsey Noah, Richard Buffett, Damage or um, what's what's the other name I saw again there? But, Ali Nuhu, Blossom. Okay, Ali Nuhu because hey, I stayed. In, I, stayed in, I stayed in the knob. Now Blossom because there was a rumor about him with some other. With some other person uh, recently. <sighs> um, yes, Odunade okay, let's, just, let's just hold on, hold on, hold on, and let's come back to RMD. The guy with that they, they use so much memes. He's, that's Odunade. He, yeah, that, that guy's funny. Richard Mofedamijo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Richard, come on now. He I left the industry. Richard. He came back. I still dominated the decade. I mean, who Ramsey does? Ramsey Noah was away for a long time. Came back with um. What's this movie Living now? In bondage. Living in bondage. Mm -hmm. Well, before guys. then, he did. He no, did, no, he's he did been doing with, some. Uh, with he's, been, he's been working. He's been yeah. working. Yeah, so I don't think it's just about living in bondage. He's been working. This is for the decade, not just for 2019. Oh, for the decade? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see, then, <laughs> <laughs> but if we're going for the decade, for the decade. Mm -hmm. I feel there's some names should there's some be up there. Peter Doche should be yes. there. Zach Oji should be there. Peter uh, Doche, yeah. Zach Oji. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's from 2010 to 2020 or 2019, yeah. But well, you said for your decade. Yeah, 2010 to 2019. Yeah, years. but they were all there. They've been there for a while. They've been there from way back. They were there before we were probably were in diapers. Yeah, if we're talking about the decade of So just within, within, the, within the 10 years. Yeah, okay. within the 10 years. Within the 10 years. 
But they were still popping who was at, let's say, 2019. Popular. Okay, from what they said, they looked at, I think, endorsement, um, versatility, uh, I can't remember the whole list. Oh, okay, please, let's be realistic. As at, as, at when, as, at when, as at when their era was raining, you know, we hadn't been exposed. But or, that was era. You know, yeah, just said it, their era was raining. Really. We're talking about decade. the guys that are raining now in this decade. Nina, ne ne what movie has it, has it done? Sorry. <sighs> oh, let's not do this. <laughs> Inside life. <laughs> But honestly, Let's not do this. honestly, I'm asking honestly, what movie has he done, you know? Can you remember the name Ramsey, of that? Ramsey, I can call um, a few of his movies. Muffet Damage, or yes. Um, that role he interpreted in that um, movie when it was the Agbero or something. Ma Makanaki. Wait, no, no, no. no that's not Makanaki. No, there was this name. There's this name now. You can't do this. It was a street like, name. I'm sorry, ladies. I mean. Okay, so we are telling you that he deserves to be on that list. Oh, okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so <laughs> and then and then I must I must say this here and I with acting skills right or for his beauty. No 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 his I must say oh, this okay. and I say this and I went and I say this unequivocally. Um Nino is I think his he may he he give he like he represents like a good role model of you know for those that and you know they're hot, the nine the Nollywood entertainment scene. Um, how is he, he a good actor? He is a good actor. He is, okay. he is a good actor, but aside from acting you know, I like him for the fact that he's him. He's, he's a family man. You rarely see him caught up in all the unnecessary clouds in. He's all about family. Most times, if you follow him on social media, it's always all about his wife, his daughters. Always I've, family I've had him on my show. So you feel less intimidated, right? Yeah, I mean, no, a couple of... Intimidated? No! Um, I mean, no, no, what I'm saying is because, like, know. I've had, I've had conversations, I had him on my show, I've had, okay. I've had conversations with him, and I was blown away. Because, you see, he, he, he created a narrative for me to look out from. Most people just get caught up in the fame, you know, oh, I'm out there. And they forget that if you don't find a way to monetize the fame, you probably would be back to square one broke, mm -hmm. you know, so this is and someone who is just an actor. He's a soul entrepreneur, so my phone is in the side anyway. He's a soul entrepreneur, mm -hmm. so you know, he has businesses that he's doing on the low, aside from all this that's going on out there. He doesn't let it get to him, doesn't let him, you know, he's never he's losing focused. focus of mm -hmm. the target, so his eyes are on the prize, and mm -hmm. that's making his family as comfortable as possible. It's very admirable because these days when you see a lot of, you know, Nollywood um, mm -hmm. actors and actresses, their marriages are broken for a period of time. When it comes to showbiz, you know, after so a while So we will come out to tell you, you yes, now, get married from like year to year, to year the story yeah, has yeah, changed. That was not what he said, Uti, Uti watch a little. Basically, yeah, that was yeah. what he was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> He didn't put it that way, but that was what he was trying yeah, to say. Yeah, so like, I just I'm mean, done. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, I, when I see people that are big on families, mm -hmm. I, I love it. Messi, mm -hmm. Messi Johnson is another person. But who is this guy called Tokwe Tedela? Maybe we need his picture on the screen. Uh, but <laughs> you don't know him as well, so I don't know. Not that I don't how. know him. I've read about him okay. in the papers, but putting a face to it is not necessary. How? Is on mean? this list? Oh That's the question. You read about him in the paper. Yeah, because actor? yeah, because you know there was this there was this um I think it was an award ceremony that was okay. going on. So I came across this. I was looking at the list of the people. So that's how I so know he the was name. Nomin oh, okay. I, I, oh, I remember him. where I know him from. Um, he's in, I think he's wedding in party one. He's, he's also in he not, Tinsel. Yeah. Wedding party one. He was the tinsel. guy who robbed them or something. Can we see another picture of him? Is this just the one we have? Oh, okay. Stop drinking the But I, I don't think he was supposed to be on this list. I'm sorry. Exactly. No, I'm like, sorry. He so. was not. This is not me knocking down anybody's hustle. I, I enjoy. He acting. He does know how to act. And I don't think he's done the body of but work that to, should to, put him on this list. Yeah. That's how So, I guys, so let's I just go off. Let's <laughs> go. Let, let's go off it for a little bit. Since. Everybody is coming up to put out their own decade list. You have yours, right? You can put down female decade list mm -hmm. before anybody else decides to drop it. I think you guys should drop it here first. So who do you think should be on the top 10 female actresses decade list? Decade in the yes. last 10 hmm. decades. Mm -hmm. Hmm. From Kia Kinili, definitely. Okay. Um, why are you looking at me? Well, I'm just... <laughs> you just make the list. Okay, just, just make the list. Okay, great. Do you yeah. think at this where it's going to be on it? She should. Yeah, she should be. Okay. And she should for, be For what? Decade list. Female actor. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
<laughs> Ten years. I mean, I don't know how long has she been in the game. I know she what had. What movie is she, aside to Mary, Mary, is it Mary Met or... Um, I did so it to me. Yeah. No, come on. Come I did so it's been in the movie. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bad. No. I'm, I'm pretty she bad. She was in the arbitration. No. I think that was... Listen, no. Okay, okay. She, okay. She, okay. listen, listen. Act, actor. She is. Yes. She is. Interprets the script. But Body of Wood, doesn't Body of Wood count? She was the daughter to... If, was if the, what's her name were, She was the daughter to this lady. If you are on 10 um, bottom line movie, how yeah. would I call it, and then I'm on five blockbuster movie, like yeah. The Bedroom Money, that yeah. five will count more than the time. Right? Yeah, she was on the cover of Vogue, by mm. the way. Okay, yeah. So and we have I think just for me, three, right? Gen V will still make it on that list for me. E She's still going to yeah, make it on that list for me. I can't even take that away from her. She's going to make it on that list for me. Let me see, which other female do I admire that's been in Hollywood that I know too well? Wow. I don't know where Rita we have Dominic. to think this long. I don't know where Rita, Rita Dominic, Rita Dominic, Dominic should, should be on that list. Lately. No, 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 she's yeah. been doing work. She should be on that list. Has she done something of any project of late? Um, you know we're talking of 10 years, so remember yeah. um, phone swap was within okay, this true, decades. True, true, true. Um, I can't remember now, but I'm bad with names, right? Yeah, and I Damn know she's coming in 2008, 2008. I know you love her, but I don't Damn know. Damn I think we take also coming there, right? I okay. don't know. I think she's a fantastic actor. I think she's beautiful. She's a fantastic actor. <laughs> okay. Don't be like this. Now. I think she's beautiful, like she's hot. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know. You, you have not dropped any names. Any name. <laughs> I don't know if Lino Sifo is going to make it on that list. I mean, I just have a question out. What do you think about Lino Sifo? Um... Linda Osifo, I mean, I'm going to rate her, you know, part of the new new kids on the block that, you know, making wave. Also, she's doing well with social media, you know, she tries to take out nice pictures, so you can't see her pictures going everywhere. Wow, like, but, Nene, hold on. Nene, just hold say that. Oh, yeah, 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 hold on. You can't see her pictures going on everywhere. <laughs> so, wow. but, to yeah, that. wait, now, hold on, let it land. You know, it's going wow. everywhere, but then, you know, there's always a hype to things, and then when you... We eventually get like a taste of, you know, mm. yeah, taste okay. You never said that on the show, much, though. Right? I mean, that's a disclaimer mm. right there. I mean, yeah, okay. But well, um, we need one name from you. One more name from um, we, can't, we cannot not make this. The, the woman I want to put on this, um, this was mother from King of the Boys. What's her name again? The Yoruba lady. Now. This, oh, Shola Shabawale! Yes! There's another woman again. An elderly woman or so. On she's she's been she's been in most of the recent movies. Was she the one that acted the uh, Namdi's mother in Lind Living in Bondage? L in Living in Bondage, yes. yes. What's her what's name? Her name? She, she's oh, also yeah. been there, you know. Yeah, I think I and then she was in, she was also in um is it the wed the wed the wedding is it a wedding party or wedding? Mm. She was also there, not the Shobuali lady, another elderly woman. Mm -hmm. She acts really good. She speaks with an American accent, so good. Was it her? Not a way to do I know. But then you were saying, okay, should also make this. You were teaching actually, you were saying, okay, though. So at least it's getting complete already. Yeah, yeah I think that's enough. Um. <laughs> Folks at home, you so could, could pass for you. Kudos, kudos to us. Kudos to, kudos to the, the guys team. putting up this list. Because yes. clearly see it's not easy. It's not no. easy. <laughs> it's not been it's not easy. very hard. And um, if you make the list, then congratulations to you. We're waiting for more lists. I mean, the year's ending, so there has to be lists from this, lists from that. And of course, lists of media personalities will be coming up soon. I'm sure of that. Yes, it definitely will be coming up. Um, here, here's, here's the thing, yeah, for me, per se. I always feel like the market is highly saturated. It is, actually. Um, I'm sad and how heartbroken about the fact that, and I'm sure everybody here can relate with me, you know how long it took us to get to where we are. Mm -hmm. It's annoying that uh, people could just go on TV for two months, take off their bras. And they're on every list, right? And, uh, yeah, and no, not even on uh, every list. They come out, wow. and you're giving them hosting jobs. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're giving them <laughs> those wow. names. Is that a shit too? It took us, it took us, you're on your shit mood. It's 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 no, 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 I'm not on my shit mood. I just say the way it is. I mean, I represent, I represent truth. I mean, well, when, I, I when so, we're talking our then, oath to come in as broadcasters, what what did they tell us? Our oath was to truth, to be just. To not hold back and to, to always fair. to be are you, fair are you and being to let fair me. Right now? I'm being fair because <laughs> listen, I'm being fair because I know people that had to work 20 years mm -hmm. to get to. I don't think it, it has to do with the decision makers. Those that I kind of feel it, no, I feel like it has to do with the Nigerian value system. Of course, that's one that's, too. That's a great and point. And of course, that is the decision makers not understanding yeah. the, or the value I wouldn't system. I would say Nigerian the value value system, system is wrong. I think. I don't see. They get it twisted. I've seen, just I've, seen, I've seen some people host events, and go. in my head, I'm like, yeah. they had no reason to be representing those brands. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a slap to the brands. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. But we'll have to go. But we didn't call names up. I mean, <laughs> if you're on this table, <laughs> you can speculate. Yeah.
practical. Thank you for watching. And um, remember, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media. And also, remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, you go to my co anchors, Benny Ag and Nanny B. Thank you for being here. And the entire production it. team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.